Uh, Trey, the, the, the shots were falling in the beginning, but the effort was still there. You, two, you guys were, were still going up and down the court and finally got things going. Is, is that side of a good team? Is just even after a slow start, you guys continue to just be relentless? Yeah, um, I think in earlier games, we're proving that when we you know, stick through it, you know, we started making shots in the end. Um, I think we were just a little rusty. We had a long week off, um, hard practices, but you know, we got back to our groove and then you know, Mickey, Raymond gave us a good spark and got things going. Big, big game, I see this is your second game back, not the first one, but uh, what was the difference, I think, for you personally? Um, I think just getting up and down more, uh, getting a chance, you know, to get, get that feel for the game because I've, I've been out so long. Uh, so just good, um, just getting out there and run a little bit. What do you guys do get going? How, how, what's it like, what's going through your head right at that moment where you feel like everything's really clicking for you guys offensively? Uh, it's just a great feeling. Uh, we have so many versatile players. Uh, one through five for me, pretty much put the ball on the floor and shoot it. So it's hard for defense to stop us. And uh, I mean, it starts in practice. Everyone competes hard and we go at each other and then it translate on the floor. So uh, we're just working hard. When you guys are struggling early on, do you sort of keep that in the back of your head knowing that you guys can get to that offensive level? It's just a matter of time for you guys? Or? Uh, I don't think really, really panic in the beginning, even though we were down 13-0. Um, we felt that we were getting wide open shots and great looks, layups, stuff like that. So we stayed with it, and, and Coach kept preaching to keep going at it. Was that the shot you wanted at the end of the half? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, try to get some momentum shot, you know. Winner. Yeah. <laughs> what was Bobby saying to you, like, during, before you took that shot? Were you guys just trying to figure it out? He just had one shot. Um, yeah. You know, some tricky shoots, so it was good that he shot it. We also, you know, in the pack, um, we also uh, played in the pack. What sort of the night? How much energy did you have for you guys today? Yeah, that helped a lot. Um, a lot of fans showed up today, even though you know it's, it's Christmas break. Um, that was great for us. I love the atmosphere like that. Mickey you had ten rebounds in the first half. Was that your emphasis in the first half, especially with so many shooters on this team? Um, I mean, you can vouch for me on this. I just uh, just try to go and crash every every time I can, really, uh, unless I'm in you know big time foul trouble. But uh, that's just you know just how I play. Trey, earlier this week you said that's most, this is the most fun you've had playing basketball. What really is it that has made it so much fun for you? Um, obviously, winning is great, but uh, we have a great team culture. We, we genuinely like each other, and we just want to win at the end of the day. And that's what you know makes a great team is when everyone comes together as one, you know, and vouch for each other and, and just plays as hard as we can. What is Coach Hurley telling you guys when you're in that 13-point uh, early season? Um, I mean, he told us, you know, he wasn't worried about it. Uh, like you guys said earlier, we, we weren't hitting shots at first, but um, we're not the team that just because we're going to miss some shots uh, is going to lay down and just quit the rest of the game. That's not who we are. And uh, I mean, we showed that uh, shots going to go in regardless. We just got to keep going and uh, find other ways to score. Uh, and it starts on defense, and then we picked up defensively. So coach kind of keeps it calm. He's not like in your no. guys' face right now? No. The way that they were doubling uh, Romello early bit with the two bigs, did that take some adjusting to initially? Uh, no, we, we, we saw it on, uh, when we watched their film, uh, we just had to get, we just had to do a better job of, of kicking it out and, and realizing that trap was coming as soon as he touched it, uh, which they figured it out, but it wasn't, wasn't that big of an adjustment. Do you guys feel more of a spotlight or target on you guys now that you guys are number five? Um, I mean, yeah, last year I don't think anyone really cared about us after a game, but uh, you know, now if we were to lose a game, everyone, you know, is gonna say, oh, you know, Whatever, but uh, I think yeah, because the five's there, so it's all right. Trey, as a senior, do you ever have to go up to Remy and just tell him just to <coughs> calm down a little bit? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I try to tell him just keep going at it. I really don't try to be negative or anything like that. You know, he's played well in big games and every game pretty much this season. So, you know, he has confidence. I have confidence in him. We all have confidence. So I'm not gonna be negative. I'm gonna tell him keep playing hard and do what he does. It seems like you guys do a good job turning good defense into some quick offense to really start scoring. Is that something you guys notice and try to capitalize on? Um, yeah, that's when uh, we're our best, when we stop people and getting out. Um, that's when we got our lead in the second half, and we got a lot of defensive stops consecutively. So when you lock in on defensive end, it's going to make us that much better. Why not milk the clock? When you're starting to build a lead, build a lead, you still shoot very early in the shot clock. Why not milk it? Um, Coach told us uh, last year teams didn't show mercy on us when we were losing, so uh, there's no reason for us to do the same. Uh, you know, just it's just how, how we play. It's no disrespect or anything like that. Are, are you guys doing any watching of other teams around the country and?
following who else is undefeated or. Well, we just we watch uh, film on who we play next. Trey, you had that one no look bounce pass to Shannon uh, through Bib. Just when you guys are having fun like that, maybe trying things that a little bit more together. How much of that is just given the freedom that uh, Coach Hurley has given you guys in being in those situations? Um, I don't know. It's just. So it's such a wonderful thing when you have great players surrounding surrounding you and it makes it my job easier. You know, he was spreading the lane hard and I saw him so I gave him the pass and if it was me, he would get the pass and it was Mickey. So we just we just like playing with each other and whoever's open is gonna get the ball. What does it mean to you to be a part of that one team that's you know set the school record at ten and out for you personally? Uh it's great. I mean that's I'm not really focused on uh, we wanna break a record or anything like that. We just want to take it one game at a time and win. And uh, I don't know, we're just enjoying it and one day one day at a time and, uh, and going with the process. Trey, what does it mean now that you can play with those who will win? You know, big games coming up and everything. You have this guy in there all the time. It means I don't have to go against him in practice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, man, he's a great player. I mean, as you saw today, um, just uh, crashing uh, crazy getting a lot of offensive rebounds, stuff like that. And um, he has a lot of uh, driving ability as well. And when he gets more com comfortable with our system and playing more minutes, you're gonna see a lot of uh, versatile move movement, stuff like that. Trey, I'm sorry if you've been asked this before, but another deficit didn't seem to bother you guys at all. What's your mindset when you fall behind like that? Uh, either, either of you guys. I'm sorry. Um, we we condition it very hard um, in practice, so like, we don't we don't say oh we won this game so now we're gonna cut back or anything like that. We take it we follow the same format and uh, conditioning, practicing hard stuff like that. And then so when we're down we're like we got a second gear to go to, yeah. and then it kicks in and then we go on a run.